Hey YouTubers, it's Tony again, part two. One year later, if you've recently replaced your GM or Chevy bumper and you simply need to remove your old spare tire lock cylinder ring kit or install a new one, I'm going to show you how to do that today. I highly recommend that you purchase a new kit before starting the job because oftentimes when removing the old one, the outer ring tends to break. So it's a good idea to have a new one. Also keep in mind, nothing is easy about working on cars, okay? You can find the kits at amazon.com, ebay.com, or at your local auto parts store. If you'll notice on the outer ring, guys, it has grooves all the way around it. Well, those grooves are meant to fit into your bumper hole just like so. So you simply squeeze this in, put it into your bumper hole, and release it. And it should grab all four corners of your bumper hole, and I'll demonstrate that to you a little bit later. The only tool you'll really need to do this job successfully, guys, is a fat hook. And I will show you how I did it in just a moment. So let's climb up under the car and get started. Okay, guys, I'm up under the car, and to get this out, I simply took this fat hook, and I placed it up behind the retainer, and you're just going to have to really bend it really hard. You may want to put some goggles on just to make sure that nothing breaks and hits you in the eye. There's the centerpiece, and to get the outer piece out, guys, you just squeeze it together, and it came out. And now you can simply push the door back out. Okay, guys, remember earlier I told you that the outer ring goes in in the upright position like this. So what you want to do is seat it on the bumper hole and then squeeze it together. You want to make sure that squeeze it together pretty good and you want to make sure that it grabbed all four sides of your bumper hole and then the next thing you want to do is take the center ring put it into the hole and you want to push it down until it locks in And it's locked in. I'm gonna show you what that looks like from the outside of the truck. Okay guys, this is what it looks like from the outside of the truck. You're gonna notice that all those grooves, they grabbed all four sides of your bumper. And you just have to make sure they're in place. And then you can go ahead and install your door through the other side and push it in until it's nice and tight. You wanna make sure that you line it up on the inside, so let's do that. So you just wanna make sure that it's the outside door is lined back up with this tube, guys, and then you can push it all the way through from the outside until it grips and locks into place. I hope the video helps, guys. Thanks for watching.